So when trying to conceive, it's very important that you know exactly when you ovulate. But when your cycle length keeps changing, you know, this month is 28, next month is 32, 30 days, it becomes even difficult. And you find out that the calendar method isn't working for you. Your apps either isn't working for you. So what do you do instead? My name is Stephanie Inyong. I'm a menstrual cycle coach. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use the ovulation test strips to predict your ovulation more accurately. First, you collect your urine in a little cup just like this. Next, you open the ovulation LH test strips gently like this from the edge. LH is short for the luteinizing hormone. When this hormone rises to its peak, also called the LH surge, it triggers ovulation. So ovulation happens around 24 to 36 hours after the LH surge. Next, you look out for this max line on the strip. When you dip in your urine, you make sure it doesn't exceed this line. Then you wait for 3 seconds and then lay it flat on a dry surface to read the results 10 minutes later. Now, the TTC diary helps you to stack the results accordingly every day as you test so you can interpret correctly. Just like this. So the first column on the left is labeled CD, short for cycle day. Cycle day 1 is the first day you bleed. That's the first day of your period. And of course, this column is here so you know which day you are testing. Now the next column is for the strips where you just stack them up after testing so it's easier for you to see your results clearly. Now the third column is for the time. You're supposed to be testing around the same time every day. And of course, the last column for the results where you write down low, high, or peak. Now this lady has an average menstrual cycle length of 32 days. So she started testing on the 13th day and she was testing twice a day, morning and evening. So you can see from the morning of the 13th day up until the morning of the 17th day she had low LH levels. And how do we know that? Because it was just one line showing the control line. On the 17th evening and 18th morning, she recorded high levels of the LH hormone because when you look at these strips, you see that the test line is beginning to show, but it's a bit faint, not as dark as the control line. And on the 18th evening, when she tested at about 5 p.m., she had a peak. You can see the test line darker than the control line, which means that she'll be ovulating in the next 24 to 36 hours. And she can take advantage of this window to do what people who want to have babies do. The TTC diary contains all the information you need to master your menstrual cycle and predict your ovulation accurately using your body temperature, cervical mucus, what we call vaginal discharge, cervical position, and also teach you how to time sex correctly. Click the link in this post to order your TTC diary and ovulation test strips. Cheers.